What exactly does the word Pujagi mean? That's what I'm going to be talking about today. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, Pujagi and embroidery. So why well, say I help you make beautiful things with Pujagi, but a lot of people don't even know what that word means. So today I'm going to try and explain it in a bit more detail. So Pujagi is a Korean word. It's spelled like this. And in English, sometimes it's spelled with a B and sometimes it's spelled with a P. And I normally spell it with a P just because that is the way I first saw it spelled when I began to uh, research this. I first discovered it when I lived in Korea. And at that time, there were not many resources available in English, but the ones that I found spell that word with a P. Now today, many people spell that word with a B, and so I will spell it both ways, but it is the same word in English, referring to the Korean word. So the word pojagi is a long form. Sometimes it's shortened to po or bo. So a bow pojagi is a piece of fabric that is used to cover things or to wrap things, either to carry them, to store them, or to give them as gifts. And so here is a little um, one that I got when I was recently in Korea and I got it at um, the Korean museum in the gift shop. And so this one is just a beautiful printed piece of fabric and so you can see that this is square and it's just a beautiful fabric that would be used to wrap items and especially to store special heirlooms or to give gifts. And the use of these wrapping cloths goes back into the first century in Korea. So this is an ancient um, technique that they have. And in ancient times, these were used for a lot of different things, but there were women in society who couldn't afford to use a big piece of fabric as a wrapping cloth. So they did, similar to women in other cultures and other eras and parts of the world, they took scraps of fabric that were left over from making other items and they stitched those together to make wrapping cloths. Now, sometimes, they were stitched like this piece that I have. And this piece, you can see the patchwork is on one side, but the other side has a backing or a lining. So sometimes they were stitched like this, but sometimes they were stitched with the technique that has reversible seams. So there's no lining, there's no backing, um, it's just one layer of fabric. And there were a couple of different seam techniques that were used to make this type of patchwork. But this type of patchwork is very distinctive to um, Pojagi itself. I haven't heard of this or seen this in any other um, culture or sewing. And so sometimes that type of patchwork with reversible seams is also called Pojagi because that's where it came from and that is uh, distinctive. So that is the seam technique that I use when I make these window hangings that look like stained glass. Um, I use a variation where I stitch on the sewing machine. I don't stitch them by hand in the traditional way, but it's this similar technique. And so that's why sometimes the patchwork technique is also called Pojagi because that's where it comes from. So besides this, Pojagi also sometimes refers to all the traditional Korean sewing techniques that are used to make wrapping cloths and other items like little pouches or thimbles, all the traditional sewing things. So the term Pojagi can refer to different things, either the wrapping cloth itself, traditional Korean sewing techniques, or the reversible patchwork technique. But regardless of which one you're interested in, I hope that you continue to um, research and learn about the use of the history because those are all really interesting and beautiful things to study. 
if you want more information about Pujagi, or if you're looking for tutorials for some traditional techniques or tutorials or patterns for these machine stitched window hangings, then you can find that all on my website, ebitastudio.com. Mm -hmm.